this press conference was called to release partial transcripts of calls that the shooter, Omar Mateen, had with 911 operators as well as with crisis negotiators with the Orlando Police Department. As the Attorney General announced yesterday, these are partial transcripts. Redactions have been made to avoid re-victimizing those who were in the Pulse nightclub during the early morning hours of June 12th. While we're not releasing the audio, what I can tell you is that while the killer made these murderous statements, he did so in a chilling, calm, and deliberate manner. Killer of 49 and the shooter of 53 others identified himself as an Islamic soldier who pledged allegiance to a terrorist organization which was bent on killing Americans. He does not re re represent the religion of Islam, but a perverted view, which based on what we know today was inspired by extremist killers. We currently have no evidence that he was directed by a foreign terrorist group, but was radicalized domestically. The timeline released based uh, upon radio communications clearly shows our officers were within the club uh, within minutes and engaged our, the suspect in gunfire. And that's important because uh, that engagement and that initial entry caused him to retreat, stop shooting, and barricade himself in the bathroom with hostages. Uh, so it's important to note that this started as an active shooter situation. Our officers took action and then transitioned into a barricade gunman hostage situation. So after that second exchange of gunfire, uh, upon that initial entry of our officers, uh, there was no other gunfire until the hostage rescue operation took place. So during that three hours, I just want to make sure everyone's clear on that, uh, there was no gunfire.